The art of the mic skill is a crucial element to helping a WWE superstar become popular. Whether you're a good guy or a bad guy, it's a not negotiable. Not only do you need to be good in the ring, you have to be good on the stick as well. Unless, of course, you're a physical generational talent like a Brock Lesnar, then you can have somebody else do the talking for you. But nonetheless, today we have 128 WWE superstars and we're gonna put them in a single elimination bracket tournament to determine who I think is the best mic worker in WWE history. And this video was sent in by Jonah over at santizatmail at gmail.com. Feel free to send in your quizzes, video ideas, or anything that you think might make a good video. So go ahead, send it through. And hey, as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications. If you're a wrestling fan, I'm confident that you're gonna love this channel because we upload daily wrestling content, baby. All right, as you can see, we're starting off with round one and it's starting off with JD McDonough versus Logan Paul. I'm gonna move through round one really quick, okay, here. I'm taking Logan Paul here. I think this is the easy win. Next up, we have Zelina Vega versus Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman doesn't have a photo for whatever reason, but I think this is an easy one as well. This is Paul Heyman. Sasha Banks versus Damian Priest. I think that Sasha Banks is one of the best female mic workers in the business. I think Damian Priest is improving, but I'm going to take Sasha Banks. Next up, we have Ricochet versus Gunther. Ricochet can't string sentences and make them believable. I'm taking Gunther, who's gotten much better on the mic. Carl Anderson or Jinder Mahal. I guess I'll take Jinder. Kofi Kingston or Carmella? Carmella is not bad on the mic. Honestly, Carmella is not bad on the mic. Neither is Kofi Kingston. Honestly, they're, I think they're kind of at the same level. Let me, um, you know what? She plays that part of like the really annoying snively heel really well whenever she's on the mic. I'll take Carmella. The Miz or Jack Swagger? It's not even close, dude. The Miz by miles. Luke Gallows or Cody Rhodes? Also not close. Taking Cody Rhodes. Ted DiBiase versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, like, here's the thing, like Shinsuke was really bad at promos, but WWE has done a pretty good job of masking his inability to cut a good English promo by finally allowing him to cut promos in Japanese, and they've been absolutely fire. So I'm going to take Shinsuke. Matt Hardy versus Karrion Cross. I, you know what? Matt Hardy cuts a nasty promo when he wants to. And when he was broken, Matt Hardy, he was cutting some hilarious promos. I'm going to take Matt Hardy. Razor Ramon or Giovanni Vinci. Yeah, it's the, it's the bad guy. I'm taking Razor. John John Bradshaw Layfield or Vince McMahon? Oh my, okay. Um, I, I didn't think that we were gonna count Vince in this, but I'm gonna take Vince. Santos Escobar versus Seth Rollins. Santos Escobar has the charisma of a stone, so I'm gonna take Seth Rollins. Chad Gable versus Alexa Bliss. Chad Gable has gotten far better over the last year and a half or so. I'm gonna be taking Chad Gable on this one. Rikishi or Raquel Rodriguez? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take Rikishi here. Wide bar it or Becky Lynch. I think Becky Lynch is fantastic on the microphone. Wait, Barrett's not bad, but I'm taking Becky Lynch. Bad Bunny or Drew Gulak? I'm taking Bad Bunny. Goldberg or Christian? Not even close. Christian takes this home. Roman Reigns or Daniel Bryan? Daniel Bryan is pretty darn good on the microphone, but Roman Reigns, especially these last three years, has borderline perfect the craft, so I'm taking Roman. Yoko Zuna versus John Cena. Dude, come on, come. This is like the easy, this might, you might as well have just given John Cena a first round buy. I'm taking Cena. Shayna Baszler versus Braun Strowman. You know what, Shayna Baszler could, just can't. She just can't with the microphone. Braun Strowman is very simple and to the point and it works for me, so I'm taking Braun. Shawn Michaels or Bray Wyatt? Oh, this is brutal. Wow, this is a first round matchup. That's that's insane. Bray Wyatt can be fantastic on the mic. I'll be honest, I think sometimes he rambles on and to the point where it's you start to kind of lose interest and in, and in, and it stops making sense in some in some cases, but his really good promos are absolutely fantastic. But Shawn Michaels, man. Oh, when he that Montreal promo, who who's your daddy Montreal? I'm taking Sean. Xavier Woods or AJ AJ Styles, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take Xavier Woods. I think he's better on the mic. Omos or Jimmy Uso, I'm taking Jimmy. Ludwig Kaiser or Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is one of the best to ever do it. I'm taking Chris. Kurt Angle or Butch. Kurt Angle is highly underrated on the microphone. Kurt Angle is amazing on the microphone. I'm taking Kurt. Randy Savage or Jeff Hardy, not even close. Randy Savage. Charlotte Flair or Baron Corbin. Baron's actually quite good on the 
microphone. Especially, especially what he's doing over in NXT. He's very, very good. Charlotte has never been able to convince me as a good mic worker. I think that out of the two in ring, I'd take Charlotte. But as a promo, I'm taking, I'm taking Baron. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus our Truth is not close. I'm sorry, Truth Stone Cold. Ridge Holland versus Johnny Gargano. Ridge Holland is barely even allowed to talk. So uh, Johnny Gargano is actually quite good. So I'm taking Johnny. Finn Balor versus Cesaro. Cesaro, he's improved, but that's never been his strong suit. Finn Balor is quite good these days on the microphone. I'm taking Finn. Elton Prince, yes, boys, versus Elias. Elias is much better. I'm taking Elias. Eddie Guerrero versus Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley has only really gotten a little bit decent on the mic in the last couple of years, but he's a, he, here's the thing. Like, he's one of those physical presence that doesn't need to be great on the mic. Like, I think, like, his physical body of work really, really, really is what does the talking. He was great when he was with MVP and MVP was doing the talking, but Eddie is one of the best to ever do it. I'm taking Eddie on the mic. Stephanie McMahon or Randy Orton? I think Randy Orton is so underrated on the microphone. I'm taking Randy. LA Knight versus Dakota Kai. I'm sorry, Dakota Kai, but LA Knight and it's not close. Big E versus Batista. Oh, Batista got, can, can be pretty nasty on the microphone when he wants to be. I'm going to take Batista here. Sting versus Eric Sting is very good on the microphone. I, I don't know if any if you folks have been watching and keeping up with AEW, but he's doing some great stuff over there, especially on the mic. I'm taking Sting. The Undertaker versus Mark Henry. I mean... I, <laughs> Look, look, I'm just going to say it like, I mean, Taker doesn't need promos and I'm sure if he wanted to be better than Mark Henry, he could be, but he never needs to be because he's the dead man. He's the undertaker. But Mark Henry can be nasty on the mic. Remember that fake retirement promo? Yo, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. this is the upset of round one. I'm taking Mark Henry as a better mic worker. Seriously. Shane McMahon or Naomi? Naomi's actually quite good. Naomi's actually quite good. I don't love Shane McMahon on the microphone either. Either. Um, I think yeah, I think there's another shocker. I'm actually going to take Naomi on the mic. Buddy Murphy or Kit Wilson? We don't really hear a lot of, of, of Buddy Murphy, so I'll take. Uh, I guess I'll take Kit Wilson, even though he only really works when he's with his partner. So I'll take Kit Wilson though. Bobby Roode or Goldust? I'm taking Bobby. Bobby. Kevin Nash or Dominic Mysterio? I mean, you, you can't hear what Dominic says, but <laughs> I, I've never seen anyone whenever he grabs the microphone get as a crazy as a reaction as Dominic Mysterio does on a regular basis. And that's what promo work is all about. So I'm taking Dominic. I'm taking Dominic on this. Jey Uso or Ivar, not close. Jey Uso. Montez Ford or Akira Tozawa, not close. Montez Ford. The Great Kali or Dolph Ziggler, not close. Dolph Ziggler. Solo Sokoa or Ric Flair, not close. Ric Flair. Shotzi Blackheart or Ronda Rousey. Y'all hate Ronda so much. I, and 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 I get it, I get it, but I mean, come on. If you went with Shotzi here, you're lying to yourself. It's Ronda. Rey Mysterio or Edge? Oh no! I mean, Rey Mysterio's you know forte has never been the microphone, so I don't think he would have been very made it very far in this tournament. Anyhow, I'm taking Edge. Kevin Owens or Dean Ambrose? Oof! Uh, dang man, some of these round ones are are like you know like super easy, but then some to, some of them are pretty hard. Uh, I'm gonna take Kevin Owens. Natalia or or Liv Morgan, I think Liv Morgan is better on the microphone. CM Punk or Brock Lesnar? I'm, if it was Paul Heyman, I'd take Paul Heyman, but I'm taking CM Punk. Triple H or Austin Theory? Not close. Triple H. Rhea Ripley or Bianca Belair? I think Rhea Ripley is better on the microphone, if I'm being honest. I think Bianca is the better in ring, personally. I'm taking Rhea on the microphone, though. Rob Van Dam versus Mustafa Ali. I, I'm actually going to take Mustafa. Uh, Rob Van Dam has never really been able to cut a promo. Like, a, a, a promo that makes me, like, give a damn about anything, friend. Frankly, um, Mustafa Ali, on the other hand, when he wants to and when he's allowed to, he can cut a fantastic promo. I'm taking Mustafa. Sheamus or Sami Zayn? Sheamus is good, and but Sami Zayn is better. I'm taking Sami. Riddle or Otis? Uh, this one goes to Riddle. Kane or Io Sky? I... <laughs> I mean, neither of them are great. Neither of them are really going to go very far, but I'll take Kane as a better mic worker. Hulk Hogan or Bailey? Oh, that's a tough one for Bailey. I got to take Hulk Hogan. I, he's the originator of like making mic work important. I got I to gotta take Hulk. Bret Hart or Andre the Giant? We got to take Bret Hart here. Nia Jax, who just came back, or Mick Foley. Mick Foley's fantastic on the microphone. No one can cut a better sympathetic promo than Mick Foley. Seriously, I, and I'll, I'll stand by that. I'm taking Mick. John Morrison 
Carson or Angelo Dawkins? Uh, you know what? I think Angelo Dawkins is better on the microphone. Whenever John Morrison got on the mic, I always thought it felt awkward when Angelo Dawkins gets on the mic. My reaction is, man, I wish he got the mic more. So I'm going to take Angelo Dawkins. Luke Harper or Alberto Del Rio? Uh, see, they put Luke Harper and Luke Harper never really did anything on the mic in the WWE. But if I'm including Mr. Brody Lee, which I'm going to be honest, I don't know that I should. This is a WWE list. This is the this is the best WWE mic workers. And I don't I don't think that I I should include it. I, as much as I acknowledge that Mr. Brody Lee absolutely blows Alberto Del Rio out of the water and could pro probably make it pretty far in this list, I have to go with Alberto Del Rio. Big Show or Asuka, I will go with Big Show. And in the last matchup of round one, we have The Rock versus Drew McIntyre. Drew's very good, but I'm sorry, you're going against one of the best to ever do it. I'm taking the rock here. All right, so now we're on to round two, and round two is starting off with Montez Ford versus Chad Gable, and I am going to take Chad Gable again over these last couple of months. Chad Gable has absolutely elevated his game on the microphone. Montez is getting less and less mic time now that he's part of a bigger group, so I am gotta, I gotta go with Chatty. I gotta go with Chatty Daddy. Matt Riddle or Bad Bunny? I mean, like, Bad Bunny literally lives on the microphone. He's a singer. And you know what, though? I'm going to take Bunny. I'm going to take Bunny. Like, Riddle on the microphone has... He's never done it for me. Like the only time that I've ever really given a damn about anything that Riddle has said on a microphone or a promo was that backstage interview with Seth, with Seth Rollins. And I felt like Seth Rollins had to carry that. I'm going to take, I'm going to take Bad Bunny. Razor Ramon or Gunther? Oh, I, I think Gunther has gotten very, very good. But Razor Ramon, he's... He's just that guy. I'm taking Razor. Triple H or Roman Reigns? Roman, you, you've become very, very good over the last couple of years. But I think Triple H is potentially a top five to ever do it on the microphone. Triple H is so good. I have to take Triple H. Jey Uso or Eddie Guerrero? Oh, boy. Jay is amazing on the microphone. And, and, and so is Eddie. I, I think. And I got to see them both in their prime on the microphone. And I, I gotta be honest with you, I think I look, I'm I'm gonna go with Eddie. I'm gonna go with Eddie, and but this is like, dude, this is so close, like about as even as it gets. I'm gonna go with Eddie because Eddie is just better at cutting the sympathetic type promo. I think they're both equally as good at cutting the the you know the the heel promo. But Eddie, man, when he wants you to care and and pull for him, like he's so good at doing that. I gotta take Eddie. I have to. Randy Orton or Finn Balor? I keep screaming it from the rooftops. Randy Orton is highly underrated on the microphone. He has a very unique cadence of the way that he talks and it just works so well for his character and that's important. I'm taking Randy. Sasha Banks or Kevin Owens? I'm sorry, Sasha, but Kevin Owens is too good. Rikishi or Logan Paul? This is an easy one. I'm taking Logan. Again, no picture for Paul Heyman. I, maybe he, maybe he's just too good for this, but I'm taking Paul Heyman. Dominic Mysterio or Baron Corbin? I think... I, again, the reaction that Dominic is getting is not necessarily because he's good on the mic. People just want to hate him. But Baron Corbin, on the other hand, he is clean on the microphone. He's very, very, very articulate, very well-spoken, and very matter-of-fact when he gets on the microphone. I have to take Baron. Seth Rollins or Liv Morgan? I'm sorry, Liv, I'm taking Seth here. Chris Jericho or Braun Strowman? This is not close. I'm taking Chris Jericho. Mustafa Ali or Jinder Mahal? I'm taking Mustafa Ali. Shinsuke Nakamura or Christian? This is not even close. You have to take Christian. Edge or CM Punk? Oh, I'm sorry, Edge. I think Edge is fantastic on the mic, but CM Punk is one of the best to ever do this. CM Punk really is just a natural. He was built for the microphone. I'm taking CM Punk. Mick Foley or Kurt Angle? I, I love Mick Foley, but Angle clears. Shawn Michaels or Cody Rhodes? Oh, I think, dang man, some of these matchups are insane. I am going to take Cody on this one though. Johnny Gargano or Carmella? I think Johnny Gargano cuts the better promo. Sami Zayn or Ric Flair? Look, Ric Flair is amazing. I really think that he is, but I think Ric Flair can sometimes be too much of a one trick pony. Um, and you know, you, you, you don't see him in the list of catchphrase machines, but he is a catchphrase machine. Limousine riding, jet flying, blah, 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 blah. And meanwhile, Sami Zayn just tells such a, 
actually coherent story. Uh, but you know, when Ric Flair wants to, he's he he can cut one of the best promos ever. But Sami Zayn is just more consistent. I'm taking Sami. The Miz or Vince McMahon? Vince is good. Vince is fantastic, but the Miz is better. Naomi or The Rock? I have to take The Rock on this one. Yo, The Rock is getting some easy matchups. Xavier Woods or Elias? I don't think this is close. I'm taking Xavier Woods. Stone Cold or Kit Wilson? Bye bye, Kit Wilson. We're taking Stone Cold Steve Austin. Robert Roode or Dolph Ziggler? Uh, Dolph Ziggler is is an animal, man. When he wants to get on the microphone, he he is absolutely he can be filthy. So I'm gonna take Dolph. Sting or Angelo Dawkins? I don't think this is close. I'm taking Sting. Matt Hardy or Hulk Hogan? That's a mic worker. My goodness, dude. I look, Hulk Hogan, and it's kind of the same problem with Ric Flair. He can be incredibly one-dimensional, a catchphrase machine, but yeah, he can get the people out of their seat and get them absolutely excited. But the better storyteller of the two, I'm sorry, the better storyteller and the better person on the microphone, and the one that I would trust the most is Matt Hardy. I'm taking Hardy. John Cena or Becky Lynch? Becky Lynch is one of the best to ever grab the microphone. She, I think she's the best female to ever grab the microphone but we're talking about one of the best to ever do it like overall so i'm taking cena here jimmy uso or alberto del rio i'm taking jimmy randy savage or la knight you know what they're kind of similar honestly they really are i will take la knight though ronda rousey or mark henry i'll take mark henry kane or batista i'm gonna take batista on this one and in the last matchup of round two we have rhea ripley versus the big show and i am taking rhea ripley all right we're in round three we have xavier woods versus logan paul and i think xavier woods is better on the mic the Miz or Johnny Gargano, we're taking the Miz. Paul Heyman or Jimmy Uso? Again, I wish there was a picture for Heyman. Uh, so, Paul Heyman. <laughs> Mustafa Ali or The Rock? Not even close. The Rock wins. Eddie Guerrero or CM Punk? I'm sorry, Eddie. This is Punk all day. Sting versus Christian? I... Ew, they're pretty even, honestly. I think Christian just has... Uh, there's just, I think Christian can just do both sides much better, right? We don't have too many heel Sting promos. Like, do we even have any? Either way, we at least have Christian being amazing as both a heel and a face. So I'm going to take Christian. Stone Cold Steve Austin or LA Knight? I'm sorry, Knight, but this is Stone Cold's game. Triple H versus Dolph Ziggler. I don't think this is close. This is Triple H. Seth Rollins versus Mark Henry. Oof. I think this is closer than people think. I think this is closer than people think. People just, they, the WWE just didn't give Mark Henry enough chances on the microphone, but Mark Henry, when he wants to, man, he is an absolute dynamite stick on the microphone. I'll, I'll take Seth Rollins, though. Chad Gable versus Batista. I will take Chad Gable here. Kevin Owens versus Baron Corbin. Bye-bye, Baron. I think you had a good run, but I'm taking Kevin Owens. Randy Orton or Chris Jericho. I love Randy, and I love Chris Jericho. I think they're both absolute beasts on the microphone, but Chris Jericho is too good. I'm taking Chris. Sami Zayn versus Rhea Ripley. I think Sami Zayn's the better of the two, so I'm taking Sami. Matt Hardy or Cody Rhodes? The Matt Hardy Cinderella run ends. I'm taking Cody Rhodes. John Cena or Kurt Angle? Again, Kurt Angle, highly underrated. He's fantastic on the microphone, but he's nowhere near as good as Cena. Like, it's not even close. I'm taking Cena. Razor Ramon versus Bad Bunny, and uh, I'm taking Razor on this. All right, we're on to the next round now, and it is Xavier Woods versus The Miz, and I'm taking The Miz. Sami Zayn versus Chad Gable. I have to take Sami Zayn on the microphone. I think he's just, he's far more consistent. Triple H versus Paul Heyman. I'm so sorry, Triple H, but like, dude, it's Paul freaking Heyman. I, you, you, Triple H is one of the best to do it, but Paul Heyman, man, is just on another level. I have to take Paul Heyman. Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho. I, <sighs> Chris Jericho, I think, has more range. So I'm going to take Chris Jericho. Razor Ramon versus Cody Rhodes. I think this is the end of Razor's story. I'm taking Cody Rhodes. I don't know if he's going to finish the story, but he's moving on in the story. Cody Rhodes. The Rock versus CM Punk. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus freaking Christ. Okay. I, I'm going to... I. <sighs> I have to think this through. I think that CM Punk is better at promo battles than The Rock. Like if he's going one on one versus somebody jabbing back and forth with the microphone. I think The Rock is the better crowd worker on the microphone. So I think the best way for me to do a tie break here is like what would happen if The Rock and CM Punk went on the mic together. All right. And we have footage of it. And CM Punk fucking owned The Rock. He just did. He did. He did. I think he. I think the people refuse to to lose the this notion that The Rock is the best on the mic. But both Cena and CM Punk absolutely raffle stomped him. Oh well, that's not that's not the real Rock. That was PG Rock. Everyone 
was under the PG guideline. CM Punk had to walk the fine PG uh, fine line. So did Cena. So did The Rock. And when they were all under the same rule set, CM Punk and Cena fucking owned The Rock. So I'm taking CM Punk. John Cena versus Seth Rollins. I'm taking John Cena. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Christian. I think this is closer than people think, but, but I am going to take Stone Cold. All right, folks, we're in the final eight, the elite eight, some might say. We have The Miz versus Sami Zayn, and I have to take The Miz here. Next up, we have Paul Heyman versus Chris Jericho, and I'm sorry, Chris, it's not close, but I'm taking Paul Heyman. CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes. Look, if we had, like, really amazing, like, you know, in the WWE heel Cody Rhodes promos, which we really don't have, like, that many great ones, you know, this might be closer, but CM Punk can just play both sides of the aisle so well. So I'm taking Punk. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus John Cena. I say something controversial that's going to make all the uh, all the Attitude Era fans here absolutely shed tears and, and get angry in the comments. This isn't even close. <laughs> it's not even close. Cena would absolutely eviscerate Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm taking John Cena. All right, we are in the final four. We have The Miz versus CM punk and both of them are absolutely phenomenal but i think the 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 one who has just cut more consistently good promos is cm punk i find that like we're sometimes years apart between like legendary miz promos meanwhile cm punk was cutting legendary promos every other week i gotta i gotta go with punk here and in the other side of the bracket we have paul Heyman versus john cena here's the thing if Paul Heyman wasn't in this, if Paul Heyman wasn't in this, Cena is winning. Cena's winning. Not because I'm the John Cena fanboy. It is just objectively true that John Cena is the best wrestler mic worker of all time. And that's going to make so many people so upset. But it's just the truth. And if you and I got into an argument about it, I guarantee you, you would lose just like anyone would lose to John Cena. I'm taking Paul Heyman, though. Paul Heyman is just too goddamn good. Like, he's almost a hack. And then the final is, is CM Punk versus Paul Heyman. I'm sorry that I basically spoiled it in the one before, but the greatest mic worker in WWE history, and it's not even close. That's the thing. It's not even close. I think Cena, number one, when it comes to active in-ring performers on the microphone, I, I think it's clear as day Cena. I really do believe that. But Paul Heyman is just in the in, in, on another planet. Paul Heyman's on another planet. So I'm taking Paul Heyman, and Paul Heyman wins the whole thing. Again, the one guy without a pick picture wins the whole thing. Look at that. All right, I'm done. Who do you think is the greatest mic worker of all time? Get out of here though.